Hello, hello everyone. So let's continue our part three in developing the application Lady Bag Chase. It is a game app, ano? So let's uh continue. The next step is to add the the add to add an appid. So especially an appid should fit around can fill canvas. And if the ladybug runs into a into the appid, ano? Uh, the ladybug energy level should increase and the appet should disappear. So, yun yung magiging purpose nito. Okay, now, so, let's uh, go back to the designer. Ayan. And then, uh, now, we're going to uh, uh, add the image, image sprite under the drawing canvas. Uh, uh, yeah, drawing and animation. So, let's... Uh, Click this one and drag dito sa ating canvas, the field canvas. Okay, so arrange natin yun. And we're going to follow this step, ano? All right, so let's change. Sabi don, we're going to set its picture property to the appid image. So, dito sa may property niya, click natin yung picture, then select the appid that PNG, then OK. Ayan, so pertama natin sya, and then our next is the interval property, yung interval nya. Sabi interval di to, ayan, change it to ten, to ten, ayan. So like the lady baga, it moves every ten milliseconds, so every ten milliseconds, ayan. Alright, so now let's set its its speed don sa properties, ano? Into two, so the speed nya into two. Okay, into two, so it doesn't move too fast. Ano? Too, hindi siya mabilis sa magmove. Okay, for the ladybug to catch it. Okay, next is um para just in case na malapit na siya ni ladybug is makain yung agad. Okay. Our next is we're going now to control the apid, no? So, what are we going to do? So, let's go back to the, ah, tawo dito, to the, ah, yun sa may black side, a black part, yun section. Kung saan tayo magpo-program, so tutuloy na natin siya dito. So, we're going to follow this block, ano? Now we're going to set up procedure again, ano? Click natin yan for apid naman siya. So, we're going to update. Click this one. Uh, change natin sa apid. Uh, update. Para pare-pare sila. Update na apid. Okay? And then next is... Uh, um, now, we're going to set a condition. Uh, if... Uh, uh, yan... If and then we're going to select this one. Sabi dito, how the blocks work. So, nakalagi dito class ano. Whenever the time goes off, but later on. Wait, wait. Yen. Sabi dito, ano? In controlling the apid, be experimenting. We found that it works best for the apid to change direction. So, approximately. Once uh, every 50 milli millis, uh, milliseconds uh, or 5 ticks of clock, ano, the one approach to enable, enabling this uh, behavior should be to create a seconds clock uh, with the time interval to 50. Yeah, to 50 ano, um, milliseconds. Then, however, uh, we'd uh, like you to try the different techniques. Ano, so that you can learn about the random fraction block. So with uh, which returns a random number greater than or equal to zero or less than one each time is called. Yeah, it is called. So create an update. So yun yung ginagawa natin kanina. Ano? Uh, ginawa natin kanina. Then uh, we're going to add a call to its clock timer. Yun yung gagawin natin. So with that, so uh, the timer goes off... Uh, uh, 100 times per second. So, both update ladybug before, like before, ano yung sa unang ginawa natin. And update, uh, uh, apid are called. The first things that happen is, uh, in uh, update apid is uh, that a random fraction between 0 and 1 is generated. 
For example, points 15, point 15, ano, point 15, if the number is uh, less than 2.20, ano, the APID will change its uh, directions to a random number of uh, degree between 0 and 360. So, if the number is not less than uh, 20, ano, uh, the APID will stay the course. So, we're going to form now the block. So, gaya yung sinabi, natin, sinabi sa, to, sa kwan natin kanina, dun sa, based dun sa ating uh, guide kanina. So, we're going to add math. Ta? So, magra-random fraction tayo. Piliin natin yung random fraction. Uh, but before that, ta? Uh, yung ating uh, um, logical uh, equation. So, this is for greater than. Then, we're going to insert uh, math uh, block. We're going to select the random fraction. Si random fraction, ano? And then, uh, we're going to set it into 2.2. 2. Yan. So, 1.2, ano? As uh, 0.2. Uh, 0 0.2. Wait. 0 0.2. Ayan. And then, we're going to set the APID now, headings to random from 0 to 360. So, uh, kumbaga yung, yung paggalaw ng APID, yung pag-move niya um, anywhere. Ano? So, 360. So, yun yung sa part ng ating uh, canvas. Alright. So, uh, select the... Ah! Let's go back to designer. Then, we're going to rename this one to APID. Ayan. Uphid. 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 Okay. Alright. Um, and then, let's go back to block. And then, we're going to select this one. And we're going to set the headings of this uh, uh, this component. So, wait a minute. Uphid. Uphid. Headings. Ah, Sorry. Uh, setting pala. Going to set. Set, set, set. Ayan. Pupiliin natin. And then, random. Okay. Or, random integer from 0 to, sabi niya. So, punta tayo sa math. Then, ayan. Random integer from uh, 0 to 360. 0 to 360. Ayan. So, after that, ha. Next is, uh, we're now to uh, program the ladybug to eat the apid. So, yun naman yung next step natin. Okay. Now, um, tapos na natin sa my apid. Naiset na natin siya. So, ito na yung time na kakain na ni ladybug yung apid. So, gawa tayo ng, ng program doon. So, when... Uh, Pag nag-meet sila, ano, once na madikit si Ladybug kay Apid, ano, um, magkakaroon tayo ng, uh, tawag dito, sabi dyan, App Inventor provides the block for detecting collisions between image drives components, so which arise, ano, which rises, uh, the question, so what should happen when the Ladybug uh, and the app it collide. Ano mangyayari? So, you might want to stop and think about this before reading because we're going to experience how or we're going to do the uh, steps. So, to handle what happened when the ladybug and app it collide, ano, let's create a procedure, it app it. So, gagawa na naman tayo nun. So, uh, that does the following, in, uh, that, uh, which is, um, ito yung mangyayari. Uh, pagka kinain ni Ladybug si Apid. So, increases the energy level up, uh, by 50 to simulate uh, eat, eating the tasty threat. Ayan. So, causes the Apid uh, to disappear. Ayan. Yun yung mangyayari doon. Causes the Apid to move, uh, stop moving. Ayan, of course. Then, causes the Apid to move uh, to a random location on the screen. Ayan. So, yun yun yung gagawin nung uh, ang tawag dito, yun yung mangyayari. Okay. So, now let's uh, uh, create uh, 
another procedure. So, gagawa tayo ng procedure. Okay. Na naman for apid. Ay, for it. Uh, sabi dyan? Uh, it apid. Okay. Another procedure. It apid. And then, uh, we're now going to uh, set the variables ano, to global uh, set. No, 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 no. Set tayo. Uh, set uh, energy, global energy. Yan. Global energy. And then, uh, when uh, to global energy plus 50. Ano? So, yun yung mangyayari. Sabi niya din kasi kanina, uh, it will increase the energy level by 50. Ano? So, let's uh, add for the math. Click tayo nito. And then, we're going to select for the variable, get the global energy plus 50. Type na lang natin. Plus 50, then, yan. Okay. Next is, uh, um, we're going to set up with visible to false. So, uh, up with visible. Uh, set up with visible. Visible. We're going to find the visible. Yan. Yan. Copy paste na lang natin siya. Yung isa is enable. Enable natin. Yan. Pili nyo na lang dito. And then, going to false. Dalawang false. Yan. Click natin yan. Click and copy. Paste. Okay. Next is now, we're going to call the apid now to move. Ano? To move uh, from X to y, X and Y. So, randomly. We're going to move randomly from uh, the field uh, canvas within height. Kung saan siya doon sa part na mag-move. So, we're going to set for that. Uh, we're going to call the um, the apid uh, move to uh, dito tayo apid move to call apid move to x and y so, lagay natin yan and then randomly from 0 to yun yung condition natin kanina so mat in yan 2 Itong paliin natin. So, ayan. Ito nga. Click natin yan. Copy, paste. Ayan. So, delete natin this one because di natin yan kailangan. Ne? Sorry. Are you sure you want to delete this? Cancel. Isa lang yung di-delete natin. Ayan. And then, we change this to zero. And then, change to zero. And then, we're going to uh, select the field canvas uh, with field canvas uh, with field canvas width and height is less to apid width. So, bakit uh, field canvas cancel report Oh my god, meron tayong problema, my god. I'm very sorry. So let's try it again. For cancel. Oh my god, refresh na lang natin, guys. Nagkano na ako ng problema? So dito tayo ulit. Okay, siguro hindi naman siya nawala. Ayan. So let's uh, click the canvas again. And then we're going to choose the uh, field canvas width. Field canvas width and height. Okay? So, lagyan natin dyan. Okay. Pilihin muna natin itong mat. Then, yung minus. Click natin yung minus. Yan. Medyo mabagal ako class, ano? Um, okay lang din para masundan nyo. Masundan nyo mabuti. <laughs> okay. So, click natin yan. Copy, paste. Move natin dyan. Then, this one. Dito. Then, copy, paste. Then, yan. And then, palitan natin to ng 
a width. Yan, width and height. So, let's proceed to apid. Yan. And then, change it to a uh, width naman siya. Yan. Select natin ito. Uh, height. Copy, paste. Then, ito. Uh, width. Ayan. So, here we go. Ano? Dito na tayo. Ayan. So, let's do it. Tapos na na yung pag-add natin ng, uh, ng procedure it apid. Okay. Now, uh, paano to nag-work? How the blocks works? Okay. So, uh, sabi dito, whenever the, whenever, uh, it apid is called ano is called ano pag tinawag to si it apid ano uh, it adds 50 uh, to the variables uh, 50 to variables energy na uh, staving of starvation for the ladybug so the next uh, uh, the apid uh, uh, visible and enable properties are set to false are set to false ano so it seems uh, uh, to disappear and stop moving. Okay, and respectively, finally, random X and Y, ano, uh, coordinates are generate, generated for a call to APID, move to the, uh, move to, so that, um, move to, ano, so that, ano, uh, when the APID uh, re uh, reappears, ano, in uh, its uh, new location, Ano, otherwise it should uh, would be eaten as soon as it reemerge. Okay, so detecting a ladybug apid collision. So let's uh, uh, look for uh, tao dito detecting or detect and act on collision between ladybug and the apid. Okay, so let's uh, go back to ladybug and. Uh, Click natin tong collision. I coll collide, 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 I collided with. And then, we're going to uh, uh, do, anong gagawin niya? So, we're going to set a condition. Yan. Yung part na yan. Then, click this one. And then, get other. Sabi dyan, click natin to. Get other. Yan. Click and... Yan. Then, get, get other. Ah! Mali tayo, no? So, we're going to uh, follow this one. Um, we're going to set a condition. Ano? If uh, this one. So, may logic uh, blocks natin. So, delete. Uh, for the meantime, dyan mo na yan. Then, lagyan natin dyan. Tapos, get other. Uh, magdalagay pa pa tayo ng uh, equation. So, this one. Pili natin to. Lagyan natin dito sa part na to. So, get other. Lagyan natin dyan. Is equal to apid. So, saan ba yung apid natin yan? Ayan. Ito yung apid natin. So, get apid. Lagyan natin dyan. And then, after nyan, um, apid is visible. So, apid visible. So, yan. Click natin yan. And then, this one. Click that one. Then, after that, uh, we're going to call now the apit it. Apit, uh, it apit. Okay. It apit. Okay. So, um, sa procedure, we're going to call now this one. Click and this here. Place here. Okay. So, with that, uh, as you can see, it's already done. So, how... Uh, how this blocks works. Um, sabi dito, when the ladybug collides ano, with another image sprite, uh, ladybug that collided with is called, ano, when the parameter other, when the parameter other bounded to whatever the ladybug collided with the right, uh, with uh, right now, the only thing or the, yeah, the only thing it can uh, collide uh, with uh with is the apid but will be adding a frog litter so maglalagay tayo ng frog mamaya so 
uh, we will use the defensive uh, programming ano and explicit uh, explicity check uh, that the collisions was the apid before calling the apid uh, the it apid so there is also a check to confirm that the apid is visible so otherwise after the apid is eaten but before the it reappears so it could collide with the um, ladybug again so without the checking without the checking the uh, invisible apid would uh, be eaten again causing another jump uh, ano, is energy without the uh, user understanding why okay so with this ano, ma, let's go back to the at the, uh, the APID update Balik tayo dito sa APID update Baba natin to Because we're going to add more blocks Dito sa update natin uh, Sa may APID, paid, uh, ap, ap, APID uh, update natin So with this uh, uh, To make the APID uh, eventually reappear Para mag-reappear siya You should modify uh, this one This block you know, to show in uh, in the figure figure dito sa ating tutorial so uh, with that uh, we're going to uh, change the apid directions only if it is visible and uh, if the apid is not visible okay so there is a uh, one in 20 i know or five percent chance uh, that it will be reanable so in other words uh, made eligible to be eaten again okay so let's uh, follow this one um, we're going to change. Tanggalin muna natin to. Ayan. Kasi, uh, mag a tayo ng if-else condition. So, if-else condition, then, apid visible. So, if apid visible, click natin yung apid. And then, we're going to click this one. Visible. Ayan. Click this one. And over here, and then we're going to uh, set this one here. Then, ito yung magpapakita. Or else, ano, pag wala naman dyan, magre-reappear siya ulit. So, mag-set tayo ng condition ulit. If, uh, if and then tayo, click natin tong if and then. Ayan, dito sa part na to. And then, uh, random fraction. So, gayahin natin to. Uh, gayahin na lang natin yan para hindi na tayo mag -upan. Paste this one and put here. We're going to change it to 0 0.05. Uh, 0 0.05. 0 0.05 and we're going to set the uh, apid. Copy natin to. Paste. Lagyan na lang natin dyan. Tagalin na lang natin tong part na yan. Delete. Okay? So, we change it to logic uh, true. Lagyan natin dyan. Ayan. Ay, bakit? Ayaw mong mailagay. Ay? Bakit daw? Si ah! Visible. Sorry. Headings. Visible. 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 Ayan. And then, is true. Okay. And then, enable, click natin yan. Copy-paste na lang tayo. Yan, we're going to set this into enable. Mag enable siya ulit. Okay. So, we're done in updating the APID. Ano? So, next is, uh, uh, we're now to uh, add restart button. So, doon na tayo sa restart button. Maglalagay tayo ng restart button. Kung saan, if, uh, Magkakaroon na tayo, pag nag-dead na, dead na yung si Ladybug, um, tawag dito, we're going to press the button para mag-restart uh, siya ulit. Okay, so, create tayo ng button. Dito tayo sa designer, back tayo ulit dito. Uh, Mag-drag tayo dito ng button under ng line, dun sa under ng energy canvas. And then, after nyan, we're going to rename this one into uh, restart. Re start yan restart button pala sige restart button na lang o sige restart button yan restart button and then okay 
And then, yung kanyang text is uh, restart. Yan. Restart. Restart. Alright. Pagkatapos nyan is um, now dun sa ating properties sa uh, wala na. Yan lang yung gagawin natin dun sa ating kwan. Okay. So, in the block editor, we're now going to create the code. Ano? So, we're going to follow this one. Ano? which are going to set energy level back to 200 ano and re-enable the apid uh, and make it visible yan true 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 enable everything ano in uh, na uh, from the start ano yung ating uh, function so let's uh, go back to the block and uh, we're going to set for um button. Ayan. Restart button. When restart button click, ito ang mangyayari. What ha will be happen? So, let's uh, set for the variable. Click. Uh, set. Set natin. We're going to call the global energy to 200. Gaya yung sabi natin kanina. So, 200. Uh, ayan. 200. Oh, what happened? Nasa na yung 200? Wala na ba? Okay. So, 200. Ayaw niya magpakita eh. Dito na nga lang. Yan. And then, after nyan, we're going to set the apid visible, enable, the apid, and the ladybug enable. And the ladybug pictures uh, will appear again. Okay. So, set ta uh, for uh, ladybug uh, apid Ito na ba? Ito na ba? Ah, ito. Sorry. Para akong kuwan. Next is, yan, set up it. Yan. To visible. Yan. Copy natin to. Yan. Para lang din ako nagkuwan. Yan. So, apat yan. Set tayo. This is for Ladybug. This one is Ladybug. Enable itong isa. Then, Visible. Visible. Uh, enable din itong isa. And then, this is Picture. So, Picture to Yung Ladybug Picture na lang tayo. Ladybug Picture. So, ito. Click this one. Ha? Ah, okay. So, click natin yan. And then, ladybug picture. Ito natin lagay. And then, this is ladybug. Ayan. And then, yung for logical natin, true. Click this one. Yung part na yan. Copy, paste. Yung part na yan. Copy, paste. Ayan. Lagyan natin dyan. So, true, 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 true. So, that's on uh, the functions of the restart button. Okay, next. Dito na tayo sa ating uh, frog. Mag-add na tayo ng froggy. Go back tayo din sa designer. Then, again, dito sa ating drawing animation. Just click this image sprite. Nilagay natin dyan. We're going to rename this one to frog. Ayan. Then, okay. Ah, uh, ford. <laughs> Rename natin ulit. Uh, frog. Eh, yan. And then, Okay. Then, we're going to set a picture for this uh, component. So, pili natin si Froggy. Then, upload. Okay. Alright. So, yun na. As you can see. Okay. So, ganyan lang siya kaliit. And then, pag nasagi dyan siya si, kuan, si Ladybug, mamamatay siya. Okay. So, let's... Uh, uh, meron pa bang additional program dito sa, sa kuan? Wala na. So, meron tayong explanation dito later on. So, gawin muna natin yung block ka. Alright, so, we're going to follow this one. First, let's uh, do the procedure. So, for updating the ladybug, I mean the frog. So, update the frog. Okay, froggy. Alright, now, um, let's set a condition. So, we have here, I know, the explanation. So, um, the first step to set up, or the set to setting up um, the frog to chase, you know, the ladybug is uh, returning to the component designer and adding the third 
image sprite to field e field yun yung ginawa natin kanina so it's a picture for property yun, yan and the interval palit tayo doon sa ating uh, designer kasi meron pa tayong uh, papalitan doon sa property so we're going to set the interval for the prog ay property for the prog uh, doon sa may uh, interval niya so interval meron bang interval dito uh, speed interval speed 2 1 oh. okay 1 then interval to 10 just 10 and no Alright, so after that, uh, um, let's go back to the block and uh, let's do this one. So we're going to set a condition here if and then, not in data sa part na to. And uh, or select the random fractions. So we're going to set for math blocks. We're going to click, click this equation and change it to uh, greater, less, lesser than, less than. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to select the random fraction and just put it here. And next is the uh, sabi natin kanina points as uh, zero point uh, ano ba yun? zero point one yan para dun sa speed niya. Alright, the next is we're going to set frog headings. Click natin si froggy and then we're going to select the frog headings. Nasaan ka ba? Ito. Yan. Click. Lagay natin dito sa part na to. So, for the math blocks, select this one and put it here. And uh, another equations for subtractions. So, random ay uh, frag y less uh, ladybug y. Yan gagawin natin. So, later, I'm going to explain this. Ay, dito tayo. Saan ba? Ay, yung math, yung fun pala. Yung less. Ayan, yung equation subtraction. Copy-paste na lang natin yan. Ayan, para maging okay. Then, we're going to set for prog uh, y. Y, y. Nasa na ang karabaw? Ayan. Prog y. Lagyan natin dyan. And for, copy na lang natin to. Lagyan natin dyan. This is for, um, ladybug y yan and of course copy na lang din and then oy ano nangyari bakit ganyan ay control z ko class hindi magandang nangyari copy paste yan hindi ako sa copy paste and this is sa uh, x uh, for ladybug and then para din na tayo kuan babalik-balik doon so, we're going to set this to Y. Raggy. Raggy. Okay. So, how the blocks work. So, paano to nag-work? Okay. So, we have an explanation here. So, you should be familiar with the use of the random fraction block to make an event, uh, event uh, occur with the certain uh, probability. So, in this case, uh, there is a 10% chance, ano, yan, that the frog directions will be changed to head straight toward the ladybug. So, there's uh, this requires uh, trigonometry, but don't panic. Ano? So, you don't have to figure it your out yourself. So, app inventor handles a uh, tone of math function. Okay, so for you, even stuff like trigonometry. So in this case, you want uh, uh, you want to use the a tan two, which is the arc tangent. In sinasabi arc tangent block. So with the return, yan yung ayong uh, yung a tan yung a tan two arc tangent block ang tawag yan. So which uh, return the angle corresponding to a given set of x and y ano values. So for those of uh, for those of you familiar now with the trigonometry the reason uh, the arguments to 8 and 2 has uh, 
the uh, opposite sign of what you expect. Okay? So, uh, ano ba yung nakalagay dyan? Now, let's proceed to the next. Let's proceed to the next. We're going now to set up the frog eat the ladybug. So, ito yung next. Last na to. Ayan, marami pa pala. Dalawa pa. Okay, yung gagawin natin. Okay, so, we now need to modify the collision. Modify natin yung collision, ano, na ginawa natin kanina. So, i-move natin dito, pababa. And this one, there. So, for this time, uh, dadagdagan natin to. Ano? Alright, so, we're going to set again a uh, condition. So, if, then. If, then. Okay. So, we're going to explain this later on. Um, we're going to set another equation. This one. Click and drag over here. And change... Uh, I get... Get other. Yeah, click natin to. Get other. Uh, move it here. And then, get frog. I is equal to frog. Frog. So, yun natin yan. So, not only... Not only, no, kapag ka, kung sila, kapag ka, nag, na-touch ni Ladybug si Froggy, um, yun nga, magbababa yung kanyang energy, and then, magi-game over siya. Uh, which is, uh, yung game over natin kanina, yung dead, uh, uh, dead Ladybug. Okay? So, let's call Froggy. Ito sa baba. Froggy, Froggy, Frog lang siya pala. Hindi siya Froggy. Frog. Okay? Ni. Sorry, class. Konting tiis na lang. Matatapos na din ta natin tong uh, tutorial na to. Alright. So, next is we're going to set now the variable into global, uh, global energy. Yan. So, meron tayong ginawa kaninang variable doon. To zero. So, zero. Ni. Zero. Ay, ayaw niya. Bakit ayaw niya? Yan. Do, kung, pag ayaw niya, lagyan, ito na lang pilihin natin. We click this one. And then, we're going to call now the uh, display energy. Display energy. And then, call natin yung um, game over. Yan, yung game over. Yan. Okay. So, ito yung mangyayari kapag uh, nadikit siya sa mga yan. Ano? Sa mga, sa lady, yung pag nadik nadikit si uh, Ladybug sa, sa ating, uh, uh, iba pang component. Okay. Now, uh, hindi ko na-explain kung bakit. So, that's the purpose why. So, let's proceed to the next uh, final uh, version of the restart. Ano? So, magkakaroon tayo ng another another version of the restart update natin siya because uh, meron tayo dito the, the, the return uh, the return of the ladybug so yung yung restart that button click ano no it already has uh, code ano to replace the picture of the dead ladybug ano so with that uh, with the one of the live uh, ladybug now we need to add the code to move uh, the live ladybug to a random location. So, um, here, we're going to show you ano, another condition. So, we're going to call ladybug move. So, ladybug and move to. Move to. Click natin to. Yan, move to. Lagay natin dito sa may taas niyan. Yan. And then, um, we're going to set a math the equation over here. So, select this one. Over there. Click and paste. Over there. We're going to set it to zero. And then zero. And this one, we're going to click this. Delete natin yan. Dalawa. Delete. Delete natin to. And then after that, ano, we're going to select the field canvas. Uh, field canvas, uh, width and height. Uh, 
Ayan, fill canvas. Click this one over here. Ah, magkakaroon pa pala tayo dito ng equation. Inside the, ah, uh, one. The less, the subtraction tayo. Yung may subtraction na blocks. Ayan, block. Ayan, click and paste. Lagyan natin dyan. And then, click this one. Lagyan natin dyan. Copy, paste. Then, this one. And then, ladybug width and heighten. So, copy. Copy this one and paste. Palitan lang natin to. So, this is the... Late. Ah, wala. So, we're going to delete that one and go for ladybug. Ladybug width. Ladybug width width. Nasaan na ba yun? Yan, width and height. Click natin yan. And then, palitan natin to ng uh, width. And, click natin paste to. This one. And this is height, and uh, this is height and width. Width to, itong isa, width. Okay, so everything is set. Ayan, so okay na? Ano? So, let's, uh, uh, sige, explain nyo to kung how the blocks works. Okay, so paano ito nag-work? The only difference between this version, ano, no, of the restart button, uh, that click, ano, and the previous version is um, the ladybug uh, that move, ano, to uh, block and it's the arguments, uh, or it's arguments. So, the build in function na uh, uh, random, yan, in function random, ano, integer is called twice. Once the, once to generate a legal x, ano, coordinate, and once to generate a legal y, coordinate, yan. So, even though there is, a not, uh, there is nothing to prevent, uh, the ladybug from being placed on top of the apid of the frog or the frog and the olds are against it okay so yun yun ano, now we're going to add the more one more the sound effects so we have here sound effects so paano kaya itong sound effects when the taste uh, when you taste the game ano tasted the game my hand uh, you might uh, have noticed there's uh, a uh, it's not every good feedback. So, when something is eaten, to uh, add sound effects uh, and article feedbacks, uh, just do the following. So, let's first go back here in the designer and uh, ang sabi dyan, uh, add sound component uh, source to sound file you uploaded. So, ang gagawin lang natin, um, saan ba natin makikita yung sound? Sa may uh, source. Uh, Okay, sa media. And then, sound. Click natin yung sound. Click natin tong sound. Then, ilagay natin dyan. Then, go back to block and for. And make a device vibrate when the app is eaten by adding sound one that block with an arguments of 1,000 um, milliseconds in it apid. Okay? So, make the frog rabbit when it is uh, uh, it ladybug by adding a call to sound one play in ladybug collide with uh, just before the call to game over so paano yan gawin so we have here um, go back tayo dun sa ating block so let's uh, add sound so this is for uh, sound. Nasaan na ba yung sound natin? Ah! Wait lang. Go back here. Go back dito sa designer. Kasi we're going to set a sound source dito for yung sound uh, frog wab natin. Then, okay. So, meron na siya. Ayan. And then, go back tayo sa block. Ano? Ayan. So, next is uh, uh, sabi dyan. We're going to set for sound, block, sound, uh, saan ba yun? Sabi niya, sound one that play in ladybug, kulay. Sound that, call sound one that play. Okay, dun tayo sa may ladybug, um, in 200, uh, 8 apid, dun tayo sa may 8 apid. Okay, so 
Sana yung itapid natin to dito. Ayan. So, dito sa may baba, we're going to um, call. Ah, dito sa may sound. Sound and call. Call, vibrate. Ayan. Milliseconds. Ayan. Dito sa may itapid tayo dito. Lagay natin dito. Ayan. And then, set into 100 milliseconds. So, click natin yung mat. And we're going to set into 100. Ayan. Eh, eh ayun yan. Diyan na lang tayo mag set. 100. And then, after nyan, uh, dun din tayo sa my ladybug uh, collided with uh, ayan. Ladybug do. So, we're going to uh, set again. Call and play. Call and play sound. Ayan. Lagay natin dito sa may um, uh, before. Before the game over. To. So, dito tayo. Ayan. Before the game over. Uh, ayan. Tapos na. Okay. So, tapos na natin yung ating uh, pag-block program. Ano? Yung pagbuo din sa ating mga blocks. Ano? So, we're going to uh, Uh, you're going to just uh, read this one, ano? So, ito na yung buong, uh, buong setup ng code natin. So, tama ba yung pinaglalagay natin? Okay? How about yung isa? Yung sa paglalagay natin ng sound dun sa my 8 api. Okay. So, everything is set. Huh? Now, we're going to check now our code. So, everything is set. Dito na. So, this is our blocks. Kailangan nga range natin to. Yan. Ah, meron tayong error dito. Delete natin yung mga to. Hindi na natin to kailangan. Kaya pala may mga error tayo dun. Yan. Masyadong maraming nangyari sa likod ng ating mga... Kasi meron tayong error dun sa kone. Record. Yan. Wala na tayo. So, meron pang 4. Ano kaya yung 4 na yun? So, ayusin nga natin muna. So, we have here, there, and then this one, the variable, the drawing, and this one, uh, energy, draw line, wala namang problema sa draw line. Yung game over natin, lagay natin dyan. Yung update, apid natin. So, mas maganda siguro pa magkakatabi yung mga update natin. Yan. Yung mga eh, pinaka main component. Yan. This one, error. Another error yan. So, pagay natin dyan. May error pa ba tayo? Yan. Pagay natin dyan. Bakit may error pa tayo dyan? Then, this one, pagay natin dito. Test natin. Okay. So, ayusin natin siya. Oops! Ayusin natin yung ating program. Masyadong makalat, class. Kayo, huwag kayo masyadong... Pag nag-program kayo, huwag masyadong makalat. Pasensya na kayo, class, kasi wala akong mouse. <laughs> yung medyo mabagal ako. So, we have four. Saan pa tayong four na error? Ano kaya yun? Saan kaya yun? Mayroon pa bang kon dyan? Maligaw. Oh, wala na. Okay na yan. Uy, masyado magalaw. Okay. So, I think wala na akong error dito. Okay. Now, let's uh, build the application. Ayan. Click na natin then this one. Ayan. Tapos na po. Okay. So, while... Uh, while build, while uh, building this application, I'll show you kung uh, ano magiging epekto nito dito sa ating dito sa ating uh, phone, dun sa ating phone later on. I'm going to uh, create another video kung paano siya nag-function. Paano yung um, output niya dun sa ating uh, sa ating uh, tawag dito sa ating uh, 
cellphone. And 100% build na siya. Okay, so that's on how to build this uh, kind of application. So, uh, this game. So, we're going to dismiss now. Download natin, di ba? Download APK now. So, download natin yung APK. So, ito yung mapupunta sa cellphone ko. I-download na natin to. Para malaro ko na siya kung tama yung ginawa natin. Okay. So, thank you, thank you so much for watching. So, hoping matapos nyo to. Then, after, uh, you're going to send your output dun sa... I-upload nyo sa drive ninyo. Then, yung link ng drive folder ninyo. Gisend you sa webschoolroom.com. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. This is the last part in developing this kind of applications. Have a good day and God bless. Thank you for watching.